Hi, I'm Tara. In this unit, we are looking at the microbial content of different foods held at different temperatures. There are a number of key things to consider when looking at microbial content. You need a different approach for liquid foods and solid foods. Sterility of equipment and using aseptic techniques are vital considerations, and the time of incubation is important. Food standards codes exist for you to compare your results with. Let's talk to Professor Howard Fallowfield to find out more. What are the most important things to consider when testing for microbes in a lab? Well, first thing is uh, use of aseptic technique to ensure that you don't contaminate the sample with additional microorganisms and that you don't potentially contaminate yourself with harmful microorganisms. Then we have to consider the nature of the food. A liquid food sample, we can mix and homogenize and get a representative sample from a liquid food, whereas a solid food, the microorganisms might be more widely distributed. We need to get that solid food and the organisms in it into suspension, and in this we weigh out uh, a known weight of food and add it to a known volume of sterile liquid, and we then stomach that food to uh, get the organisms into suspension into the liquid phase.